Uh, you know, it's been about three degrees below zero here, so I've been spending a lot of time indoors reading crap on the internet, and I came across another article which indicated that uh, artists and writers, creative people, were more sensitive than the rest of us. Do you believe that? Do you believe that uh, artists and writers are more sensitive, compassionate, caring, perceptive than the rest of us? And shouldn't this profound complexity encourage us to treat them with just a little extra special respect and admiration? Shit, no. No, no, no. I know a guy who claims to be a writer, and he doesn't have cancer, and he's not living in poverty, he's not disabled, he's not burdened by children, he seems to be getting along fairly well with his current wife, uh, he has enough money for gas and for food and for heat, and he, uh, he, he belongs to a gym, and he takes cooking classes at the local junior college, and he recently posted a message about the difficulties and the tortures of the writer's life and how hard it was for him to, I guess, link uh, words together that are properly spelled and the difficulties that he has to undergo. It's almost torturous and how blessed he is for completing his most recent short story. Here's what I'd like to say to him. Fuck you, you toilet. There is no writer's life, for God's sakes. There is life, short and confusing. There isn't like uh, yours and mine. We're all in this together. It is, um, we eat, we digest, we screw, and we die. That's Homo sapiens. That's it, and that's what we are. There's not like another species, not Homo sapiens 1, which is all of us, and then Homo sapiens 2, which is artists and writers, and get like uh, special privileges from the divine consciousness and the cosmic goddamn muse. Doesn't happen that way. The, the closest creature there is to man on Earth is the chimpanzee. Now, think about this. Maybe if there is an alternative species, maybe artists and writers are channeling their inner chimpanzee. Maybe that's all it takes. Maybe we just have to get stupid enough to not think we're that great. We're just a bunch of fucking monkeys, and we channel our inner chimp. Jesus, that was such a wonderful poem you wrote. And that photograph you took of your grandchildren in the snow... It brought tears to my eyes. And your painting that depicts the difficulties of an artist in an uncaring society moved me greatly. It was profound. Here's your banana. Now, that, that makes more sense.